Hey YouTube, Retrobit Panda here, and I thought I'd give it a shot of uploading my recent game pickups. Uh, I've been watching a whole bunch of video game hunting channels such as uh, Craigslist Game Finds, CJR, uh, Scott from the Video Game Sellers, his channel. I uh, watched just about every every episode on their channels, and just inspired me to show what I've picked up recently. I mean, even if I don't get any views on this, it doesn't really matter. I just want to have that feeling of uploading and. Um, showing everybody what I've picked up, and deals I've gone, or whatever. <clears throat> so, jumping right into it, my girlfriend went to the flea market on Friday. I had to work, but she ended up picking all these all of these items for $1. And it is NHLPA Hockey 93. A really good condition cart of Galaga and Galaxian, with a little really cool classic Nintendo... Um, Carrying case, twisted metal black, and a copy of God of War. So for a dollar, she ended up picking these three for a dollar, and this one she bought a whole mess of clothes and they uh, threw it in. So that was a really good deal, one dollar, and then the free God of War game. So the next day I ended up going to the flea market really early. And uh, one of the first stands I actually went to, I ended up picking up uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. Uh, not this one. That one. Sorry about that. Mortal Kombat Deception, Destroy All Humans, Resident Evil 4, and Shadow the Hedgehog for $10. Uh, the kid wanted 12 However, I brought him down to 10 uh, All these games have the manuals and are complete. And a couple steps later, I picked out... Metal Gear Solid 3 on the PS2. Star Wars, or Lego Star Wars, the video game. And Pac Man World 2, but it's not Pac Man World 2. See, the funny story about this was this lady had Pac Man World 2 for $5, so I passed on it. And this other dude had it for $2, so I'm like, yeah, I'll pick it up. But when I opened it up, I saw that it had this. Uh, from, from what I understand, this is a pretty valuable game. I'm not sure about disc only, but I mean, it's still pretty cool to, to get. I might try to sell it, uh, just for the disc only, just so I can get a, hopefully find a complete inbox copy one of these days, but who knows what I'll do with that. So, later that day, I ended up going to another little flea market at a local church, and I picked up a purple... Game Boy Advance. So another, this one had a funny story as well because the lady was selling it for fifteen, and I said, "Okay, well, uh, I can do I can do twelve. And she's like, "Yeah, I can do that." And she was apologizing for not having the charger. So I'm I'm pretty sure, well, almost hundred percent sure, unless you had a game pack or one of those add-ons, you didn't really need a charger. But she just kept apologizing and apologizing, and like, if I was mad at her or something, I was like, okay, lady, well, I tried to explain it, but she didn't want to listen, so I picked it up for 12 bucks. yeah. Really good condition. Power's on. Works like a charm. And I didn't even test it. I usually carry a cartridge around with me just so I could test and make sure it works. But a couple of... Uh, Stops later, I found River City Ransom on the... I know it's a really good NES game, but I've never played the, the Game Boy Advance port. I played a little bit of it when I bought it, but I haven't played much of it since. And you can see that it works. Uh, it's a piece of hair, it's not. Atlas. Uh, story, managed data, whatever. So, 14 bucks for those two was pretty... Pretty decent. It's not the best deal compared to what these other guys get. You know, five dollars for a Game Boy Advance. Or I've seen a uh, Scott Squatch got a Game Boy Micro for fifty cents once on one of his garage sale video games. So not the best deal by any means, but still pretty decent. So the next day, my girlfriend and I wanted to go to the flea market again. So we went super early to try to get all the good deals or as much good deals as we can. And we were grumpy as hell. We were, the time change fucked us up bad. 
but it ended up paying off because the first stand that we went to, or what we actually really wanted to see, we ended up finding two boxed Pokemon games and a loose cart leaf green. So you can see it's Ruby, and Sapphire, and then Pokemon leaf green. Uh, I was kind of skeptical at first, but I mean, these look as legit as they can be. I have all the inserts, the games are in really good condition. Uh, the transparency of the cartridges seems right, but who knows? There it is, Pokemon Sapphire, and you can see a little numbering right there. Uh, Nintendo in there. Uh, just about the only problem with these games is that the internal batteries run dry, so. Uh, I think it's, sorry about that, season-based events won't occur, like the changing of the seasons, or I think when it rains or some shit like that, so I wasn't going to pass it up at $10 a piece. He also had a sealed, like, uh, motocross game. I just gave away one of my pickups. <laughs> um, I wasn't interested in that, because it was all smushed or whatever, but the boxes were in good shape, or in decent shape. This one had a little tear, or really pretty big tear on the side. And the sapphire has no tears, however, it has a little dent on the side right there. I mean, kind of fucked up how they had Mudkip and then Trico right there, and they fucking squeezed in Torchic. I couldn't give him a bigger spot, but then he pulled the, the leaf green out, and he wanted five dollars. So locally, like around these areas, Central Coast California, these Pokemon games go for like twenty-five dollars. God damn! Sorry about that. There it is. Go for about like $25, just the cart. You know what I mean? No manuals or anything like that. You'll be lucky to find one with the manual or with the box for $25. Um, I've seen them around here, local game shops, go for around like 40 bucks with the box. So, I mean, despite going off those prices, is what? I saved around $20 or $20 each. And then, uh, I don't know, my math is all fucked up right now. I just got out of work. So then, the rest of the weekend was bust, I didn't find anything else, until Tuesday I went to the local Goodwill, and I ended up finding a Superboy. You can see they marked 15 right on the fucking box, those assholes. But, it's never been it had never been used, and it had everything in it, little, the battery wasn't even inside, uh, it had a little screen protector on it still see that sorry my phone's all fucked up but I asked them if they had a return policy and they said no but they did knock it on knock it down a couple dollars so I ended up paying twelve dollars for this so I mean these retail for about like 67 I believe on Amazon so I just figured why not just take the chance so I picked it up got home grabbed my Super Mario World that I haven't played actually. Well, I haven't actually had a Super Nintendo. Uh, I've been looking for a mini, but I can't find one. Give me one second. Sorry about that. So, I put the game in. Now you can hear that humming noise. At the beginning, that's just about the only problem with it. Other than that, it works flawlessly. I won't play a game. Hear that? Yeah. But it works fucking amazing, and it's just great for trips on the road or on a flight or something like that. So it's pretty cool. It comes with a little pouch and a little AV cable to plug it into your TV so that you can use it as a portable Super Nintendo, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah, 12 bucks. Well, I'm going to pass it up. And which leads to just yesterday... It was my girlfriend's birthday, and we went to this buffet she really wanted to go to. So we went, her parents went with us, and afterwards she wanted to go to Savers. So there's only like a Savers, probably like half an hour away from where we where were at. So I went in, to my surprise, I found TurboGrafx-16, which are basically obsolete in, central, in the Central California area. I mean, or Central Coast, I should say. Uh, there's there's some at some game shops, but they're not really for sale. They're more display pieces. But I picked this up, 
and I did not let it go. I wasn't going to really mind what the prices were for it. And I didn't even know how much it cost until just about before I picked it up or paid for it, um, which was four ninety nine. So, I mean, I wasn't going to pass it up for four ninety nine. The only problem is that right there. I'm not sure if that's how the controller port's supposed to be. Uh, I'm not sure if this is broken or something. or I don't know. Someone might correct me. But I don't know if this is like a piece of a controller. I don't know. Uh, it was a little dirty. I managed to clean some of it off, but I still got to do some work on it. And it also did not come with any cables, so it's, that's why it was four ninety nine. No cables, no controllers, but I mean, just to have it, I mean, my chances of finding this at a flea market or garage sale are slim to none around here. Um, so I was really, I was really excited for picking this up. I, I grabbed it, searched throughout the entire savers for any games, any controllers, any cables, and couldn't find a thing, so... Oh well, but hopefully I could find a game or two, or maybe some controllers soon in the, or in the future. So, picked up the Turbo Graphics, the Superboy, the three Pokemon games, the Game Boy Advance with River City Ransom right in the back, Galaga, Galaxian, NHLPA, Hockey 93, and these sweet PS2 games. So yeah, I mean, hopefully this gets up on YouTube in one shape. Uh, sorry for the editing. I have no. I don't have a computer right now, so I don't have an editing program. So I'm basically just filming this off of my Android. So, and if you like the video, I guess thumbs up would be awesome. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.